Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at System Restore, um, how to create a System Restore point, how to roll back to a previously created System Restore point, uh, basically just to, to help you um, roll a PC back to a previous state if you run into difficulties um, while installing software. Um, uh, it, you know, if you if you make any system changes that um, d d don't go quite as well as you were hoping, um, an easy way to get back to where you were is to create this, the um, restore point before you start. That if anything goes wrong, um, we can go into system restore, roll the system back to before you made the changes. So let's have a look at how we actually create the restore point to start with. So we're in Windows 7 here. Now there'll be videos for the uh, the other operating systems XP Vista, but for now we'll just uh, we'll just take a look at Windows 7. So from the desktop, there's multiple ways to get to System Restore. Um, we'll look at two of them. Um, so from the desktop, if we go out of the Start button, we we'll click on Start, and then we want to go up to Computer, and then we want to right click to bring up the sub menu, and on there you'll see Properties. So I want to scroll down and then left click on properties. And this will open up the um, system information screen. Um, some of which I've blurred out for obvious reasons. <laughs> um, but here on the left you will see that we've got system protection. Now uh, you want to left click on that. And this will open up system properties dialog box. So now we have the system properties box open. There's um if you see up here we've got a, a link um which will open up and give you a brief description on what system restore is, what it can do, how it can be used. Um below that we've got system restore and this is the actual button um that we will be using if we need to roll the system back. We'll cover that in a minute. Um, first of all, I just want to look at creating the restore point in the first place. The system will automatically make its own checkpoints every seven days, I think it is, top of my head. Um, but we can actually manually create a system restore point. Um, also, if, you, if you're installing software or anything like that, um, a lot of the times installing service packs, anything like that, upgrades, hot fixes for Windows, Windows will create a restore point before it goes ahead and installs anything, um, changes your system in any way. So it's only mainly that if you're actually going to be doing something yourself, that you know, when you're altering Windows settings yourself, good time to create a restore point. So the, the two options lower down here, we've got the configure tab, um, which basically is, is already set up. Windows will set that up for you. You don't have to change anything in there. Um, so we'll leave that for now. Um, and then we've got the create button. This is where the the system restore points are created manually. This is where you you, you create these yourself. Um, so if we go ahead and click on create, and um, if we just create a test um, restore point here, that's basically what you have to do. Put that in. Click on the create. Now what's going to happen now is it's going to look at the whole C drive. It's going to take it's going to take a snapshot of how it is at this moment and it might take two or three minutes okay so here we are it's uh, it's successfully created the restore point so we click on close and that's it that's that's as, as difficult as creating a system restore point is um, we can click OK and we can come out of there and we can finish right what we'll do now is we'll have a look at how we actually use that system restore. So, say we've just made some changes to the system, we don't like it, the system's not running right, something's something's not right, we can't quite put a finger on what it is. Um, so we decide to, to roll the system back to a time when we knew everything was working great. So, what we do is, Windows 7 desktop again, click on start. This time we want to go to all programs, and then we want to go to accessories, so we click on accessories and then we go down to system tools and you can see system restore there. Now you can go back into the way that we did when we created the uh, restore point but this menu here just deals with actually restoring 
to a previous restore point rather than creating it. Um, so here we are. And if we click on next, we'll see the restore points we've got. Um, there's only two on this system at the moment, so I cleared them out so they were a little bit easier to see. Um, we can add we can add more. So there's a system image restore point there. We made a backup, which we'll cover later. Um, but there we'll see our test that we created earlier on. I'm not going to go any further with this um, because it will roll the system back. Um, but we'll click next and then the system will set itself back to the way it was. It will reboot and once it's rebooted it will have gone back to this date and time shown here. Um, and hopefully every uh, everything will be great. And, and that's it. That's, um, that's System Restore in a nutshell. Very easy to use. Can be a very great tool. You know, um, getting yourself back from the brink, as it were, and uh, yeah, system restore. So I want to thank you for viewing, and hope that was of uh, some use here. Yeah.